cooking up a storm in our Bondi apartment. Welcome to the Christmas vlog, Merry Vlogmas. So we arrived at our Bondi apartment a couple of hours ago, sorted out all our alcohol. Uh, there was barely any Prosecco left. That's what everyone's gonna be drinking tomorrow morning. Still doesn't feel like Christmas. The sun is shining, the weather is sweet. We are gonna move our dancing feet tonight. We're going out. Oh, oh ooh, ooh, this way. You've got foundation on you. Bondi! Ready. Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite spot, right in by the balcony where you can sit and vlog. <laughs> We've got this apartment for six days, and there's some people coming over pre's in an hour or so. Oh, I've had a mirror again. Lost my ID on that night out in the Ivy, so I'm now having to take my passport out with me. Very risky because what's that? <laughs> we got field day on the 1st of Jan, on New Year's Day, and I'm worried that I'll lose it and then I won't be able to get in. So, wish me luck. Tomorrow, Xmas day, we've got some breakfast items, we've got like beans and stuff like that. We're, we've got some more people coming over to have Christmas breakfast with us. And then we are going over to Bondi Beach, which is literally a five minute walk, as you can see it from our um, balcony. So Christmas day will be spent drinking. We made it onto the news today. Sunbathing, going in the sea, and just, yeah, enjoying being in Sydney. So I've got to go get ready, but, Welcome to this Christmas vlog. This is the room me and David are staying in tonight. We are gonna try and share it out because there's only room for two people in here. And then we've got room for three people in here. So, me number one. Oh, should I put loads of makeup on then? Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. All right, duh. <laughs> and Jamie's sleeping there tonight. <laughs> I love how it's, like it's actually comfy, I felt you know it. That Jamie's sleeping there. <laughs> like, no one said it. I feel like that's Jamie. That's just, that's happening. But we might share it out because Michael, I think, is on the sofa. But then we'll try and be fair and. You can see, yeah, that might, that might happen as well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, oh, I can just go on the sofa and Michael and Dave. I don't mind it. <laughs> we'll just share it out, we'll figure it out. What's the toilet? These apparently don't work at the moment. And nice they've given us uh, some body wash and stuff. This is Saskia. <laughs> She's from Doncaster, where Georgia Cooper is from. Georgia might be watching this because she likes me. <laughs> Beautiful little sunset from our Bondi balcony. This is cute. Yeah, it's cute, is it? <laughs> Christmas Eve! Merry Christmas! I have seen this <laughs> I thought it was a photo. No. <laughs> I would have to keep it. 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 I would have on your chin, it's rising on your chin. <laughs> it's Christmas Day. It feels so weird being here. I normally wake up looking forward to the roast dinner, which we're not having today because we're spending it at the beach when if the sun finally comes out. It's cloudy right now. Uh, we're making toast at the moment. There's a bunch of people coming over and we're all having like toast, beans, hash browns, smiley faces on Christmas day. How weird. Yeah, last night we had a good night at Tea Gardens, which is where we ended up. I think we were home by like, we left about one. <laughs> Stretch. <coughs> Nick on the food. She's mom. 
Mom. So my mom, my second mom, my third mom. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> made it onto the news today. Yeah. <laughs> made them. Made them. Made them. But I like the funky music to the talking, talking now. Oh. Right, we're headed to uh, Bronte now. I know I've taken over the Vicky's vlogs. And I know you weren't expecting to see me. Oh, you fucking. I <laughs> know. <laughs> oh, you fucking. Block that out. You fucking. Beep. Fucking. Fucking. <laughs> you are little fluckers. No. <laughs> right, we're walking to Bronte Beach now. Blocker. To go and meet some of our friends there. The I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> We're gonna get fucked up. I was meant to tell them in Thursday. I joined. Them. I joined everywhere. Yeah. So Tian, Tian, Tian's birthday, and she had to go to the toilet. <laughs> and the toilet was gross, and she had to go and. Her bare feet, so now she's washing them in the ocean because, um, because they're gross. Oh! Oh my God, my ass! Stop it, you lost. <laughs> Let's go to the races. Races today is the races. Christmas was alright. <laughs> Fell asleep on the beach and. Hand. and then came back for a nap to get out the sun for like two hours and then we went to Bronte which was lively and then yeah we just spent it on the beach really I got drunk twice drunk in the morning sobered up in the afternoon drunk in the evening I'm not hungover okay today we are going to the Randwick races so some money on a horse even though it's really sad they race them just doing my makeup ready for the races we are leaving very soon we're seeing dom dollar at oh it's print works we're seeing dom dollar on field day in a few days <laughs> acid acid <laughs> absolutely boiling Races. Feels good. I've got. Cr I didn't have crushed ice in that, and uh, I tried to crush it. But... You guys excited? excited Where are we, guys? Where are we? We're at the Royal races. It's hard to say. Royal Ramwick races. Triple R. There it is. Come on, Free. Eat it, Free. Come on, Free. We're winning. See what's wrong? So I was walking into the races and my fucking toe just started like really fucking hurting, like sharp pain. And um. Then I lifted that, I took my baby sock off and then a big fucking ant came out of my shoe and an ant has stung my two toes here and pain is fucking excruciating, mate. Yeah, so we need to find first aid to get some antihistamine. <laughs> You're so antihistamine. I'm antihistamine. Stuffing is not what we wanted, really. Yeah. Been over two months since I had a rose. Having to make do with these stuffing balls. Australia is. 
Australia has weird stepping balls and weird gravy, so we can do what we have. How is the roast you cooked? So, so. Chicken is okay. Potatoes. Mm. Add some crap oil. Mm. Cheap oil. Maybe it tastes crap. Stuffing wasn't stuffing because it was the same number. Broccoli and carrots were okay. Finally, to see Avatar. Been waiting a little while to see this film. Finishes at quarter past midnight, so it's gonna be gonna be sat in the cinema for like over three hours. Whoa! I think the last time I sat in the cinema that long was when I saw the film Australia. Isn't that that's funny? <laughs> What's that? The furrow? Oh, oh my god, I didn't realise. narrated much this Christmas time. I think I took a few videos of the races and I don't think I've vlogged since well we made a rose yesterday. Let's go back to Boxing Day. So Boxing Day we had the races so we went in two different cars and me David, Michael and Jamie we got in uh, Vic, Lydia and Charlie and Katie and Beth, they didn't get in because they had journey juice so we were just asked for a little bit and then they came, some of them came later on but I placed my first bet on a horse and I won in the first race I only put $10 on so I think I won $28 Race one $28 Uh, and then from there, I can't really remember. It was like $54 for a bottle of Prosecco, some Chandon Brut. I had a bottle of that, so by the time I drank that, I was just, I was drunk. Post that, there was like a DJ upstairs afterwards as well, but you could tell they wanted us to get out at like half six. So I was with Tian and her group for a little bit, and we went and got the bus to Kuji. There were two places that people were going that night. Kuji Bay Hotel, which the queue was so long. It's all 
alright in there. Stayed there for about an hour. Then we went to Coogee Pavilion and the queue was really long there again. So yeah, that was that night basically. I was home because Coogee Pavilion shuts at midnight so I was home early. Anyway, Tuesday we... Stop it, I'm back. Tuesday, so yesterday was in the flat for most of the day. I was then like, should we make a roast? Because it was really warm outside, but we haven't had our Christmas roast dinner. So before we did that, no, 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 we went to the shop and we got the ingredients for a roast. And yeah, as David said, actually, I did film that a little bit, I remember now. David was like saying, telling you like what bits were nice, what bits weren't. But yeah, it was a lot harder to make a roast. I mean, I didn't make it. I just peeled the potatoes and carrots, but according to David, it was harder to make a roast out here because yeah, they just didn't have all the ingredients and the ingredients they had were a bit weird. Like the stuffing was strange. But yeah, we, that was nice to feel sort of like festive. So had a late Christmas dinner and while he was cooking, I made a start on my CV. So I dug back through my files from 2018 and I looked up um, the jobs that I'd done pre office life and was writing up like my time <clears throat> um like as a waitress slash dishwasher at Katie's Cafe in Porthcawl and when I worked for a summer in Wolf Italian in Reading during university summer bits like that I put on the CV and then kind of just removed any office office experience because they're not going to be interested in that so I made a start on my CV and then I actually had a little look on seek.com Sounds like a dating website. Um, it's a website for jobs, and I had a look what jobs they've got going in Cairns, in Byron, and in Noosa. And yeah, that made me a bit scared about getting a job because for bar work you need to do your RSA, which if I do it, then you know I will. I have, any, I have no idea what it involves. I was just a responsible service of alcohol, so you've got to do this course. Um, which is apparently really easy and then you know the rules around like saving people alcohol and stuff in Australia so that's something I could potentially do then you can also do a course for being a barista so maybe I'll do that but I just feel like everything that all the jobs that were advertised they kind of require some sort of course so I just need to think about which ones I'm interested in and then maybe do some of those in January at some point. Yeah, I just had a little look to familiarise myself with the job market here. And to think about how I can adapt some of my previous jobs. And then after the roast we decided to go to the cinema. So we saw Avatar, Way of Water. It was really good. I actually made some notes because I was like, I want to remember. I like the theme of adaptability in Avatar. They were obviously spoiler alert but if you've seen it how can i say this without being a spoiler there's just themes of adaptability in avatar because they have to learn how to be in the water so i like that theme that they're promoting about like being able to learn in new cultures or new environments so i really like that theme because some people think that Avatar is purely like sci-fi and action but that's not the reason I like it. I like how it relates to life and love. <laughs> um, it's a bit of a romance as well. You fall asleep. You're not allowed. You don't need any more sleep. Go in the shower. Go in the I'm shower. Stop being rude to me. Just relaxing. Okay. I can relax. I'm okay. <laughs> <clears throat> random like notes here about the film but I also think it's really relevant to Australia because James Cameron was apparently inspired by um, he did a lot of diving and so some of the like the tree in Avatar is inspired by it doesn't relate to diving but the tree is inspired by somewhere along the east coast I can't remember but there's a tree in it that has inspired him to put that tree in the film and then there's also the just all his diving experience 
and what he saw under the water like inspired the way of water. David said that the forest they're in is inspired by Chinese National Park. So I just like how he's applied all his traveling okay. to the film. Sure that. Oh, it's fine. The other thing that's relevant to how it's relevant, the other thing about why it's relevant to Australia is because obviously you have the Navi people and the different tribes and that may, I think is personally, I think it's maybe inspired by the Aboriginals of Australia. And the final thing that I like is the avatars say like when they greet someone they say I see you. I feel like this came from some other culture. So in another culture, they like they welcome each other by saying "I see you," and I can't remember where what culture that's from. In what culture do they say "I see you"? I can't remember now. Maybe it's just from the first Avatar film, but yeah, I like how they don't just go "Hi, all right." <laughs> they say "I see you," like they're acknowledging, like they're conscious of their presence in the room. So. I quite like that. So there's lots of little like nuances and little things and the details in the film that I really like. Obviously it's three and a half hours, so it's very long, but I took a blanket and it was really good. I'd recommend going to see it. So yeah, that was last night and then today is another sunny day, so we thought we would try and get out and actually do something today. So we went to the Bondi Icebergs pool for, for a few hours. It was nine dollars to get in. You're actually able to use the sauna, which you don't need to do on a day like today. There's a gym there for a day pass. It cost forty dollars. Ridiculous. I wouldn't be paying that. Um, and then, so yeah, we just sunbathed for a bit. Bumped into uh, Adele from who I rented a car with in Magnetic Island, and who I met along the east coast. She was um, she was sunbathing, so we sat next to her. And then we went in the pool for a little bit as well, so yeah, I'm kind of burnt from today already. But plans for this evening are to... We actually have a whole plan. Don't we, David? <laughs> Our plan is... To... Right. So it's 5pm now, we've just had food at Don Pedro's, which is a Mexican place on the seafront. It has like a rooftop sort of bar. Food was all right. It was probably like 3.5 out of five, I'd say, for food. But obviously the location's amazing. It's like right on the beach. Right. Hmm? Right. And the vibe, yeah, they've got like Mexican music on. And it'd be a good place to go for drinks with like friends and stuff. Um, or on a date, I guess. We were gonna do a barbecue tonight, but because we'd eaten quite late, we were thinking what else we can do. So our plans for today are to um, come back and like shower because we've got seawater on us because the icebergs pool is seawater. And then we're gonna head to, um, well, in terms of dinner, we might take some picnic bits to Observatory Hill and then get some booze and take up there and watch the sunset, which is at eight, so in three hours. Uh, then we're gonna go to the Opera House Bar, which isn't too far away, where they usually have live music and David can finally see the Opera House properly because we, were, we saw it in Manly last week, but not properly, not close. Going to the Opera House bar and then I think we're going to go to the casino because the Star Casino looks really cool and I haven't been there yet so I might place bets? No, I might gamble using the money I didn't gamble at the races because I gave up halfway through the day so I might just gamble that money and see what happens with David's guidance. I'll have the approximate, no, I'll have the exact time it took. Sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> 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 Were you waiting there for ages? No, um, for the 17 seconds. How bright and nice. Sorry about the quality, I'm filming on my iPhone. So we are going to the star in Sydney, it's a massive casino apparently. Win or lose, boys. 
won. I won how much? How much? Yeah, forty pounds. Forty pounds. We are heading to Tamarara Beach and we're gonna have a barbecue. Oh my God. <laughs> Goodbye to our Airbnb and go to another Airbnb. It's not quite time to return to hostel life, but we'll miss this place. It's been a really nice staying here. On to New Year's Eve shenanigans. Yeah. 